Good morning. It's Monday. Is that a good thing? You know, it is for me. I, I had a great weekend this weekend, and, and I couldn't wait to get back into the office. Um, you know, I watched a video uh, over the weekend, and it just really made me think about and to be grateful for just all the people uh, that have had such a positive impact uh, in my life. You know, and I think so many times right now in, in the world, there's there's so much negativity and, and there's so much destruction and there's not enough positive. And, you know, so today I thought, you know what, I, I really want to share about a couple of people who, you know, came into my life and really just encouraged me um, to not settle. It was funny. I ran into a buddy of mine, Brian Ramos, the other day. We were at a um, an entrepreneurial event, um, tech grant night, and we we reconnected and we got a chance to meet up later. And he started sharing with me some of the exciting things that he's doing with his business. And I couldn't help but to just really just be drawn into um, you know his story and the success of what he's going through. And it was so, ah, man, it was like a bolt of energy, you know, just shot through. Um, And, and so that's really carried over. I don't know. A lot of people, you know, are probably coming to work on Monday and they're, you know, dragging ass into their office and, and they're, you know, thinking, ah, another Monday. And, you know, I just have to say, I'm incredibly thankful it's, it's awesome to be able to come to work and love what I do, be able to help people with large businesses, small businesses. Um, because ever since I've been a little kid, um, you know, I can remember playing in the backyard and playing with my Hot Wheels and I would create these cities, these dirt cities. Um, and I would, have the, the the cars go in and out through the tunnels and, and they would get from one side of the dirt city to the other side of the dirt city. And, you know, that image has stuck with me my whole life and my whole career. And, and it always seems like when I talk with clients and potential clients, there's a theme that, that comes up. And, and that theme is for whatever reason, I'm drawn to people who are in a place where they are now and where they want to go, but there's no path and they really can't see how to get there. And for whatever reason I've been given, and I'm so thankful for this unlimited amount of energy and passion to help those kinds of people move from where they are to where they want to be. And, you know, I go back to, uh, you know, Brian Ramos, you know, in our conversation, he was talking about, you know, his transition from agency life into consultant and, you know, kind of his, his path. And, you know, it wasn't laid out and, and he, and he really just kind of, you know, went into this, this, you know, uncharted territory. You know, and I think a lot of people think they can't change and, and that they can't make different decisions about their business, about their personal life. That's not true. I mean, I'm a testament, you know, um, over the last couple of years, you know, I've enjoyed things and, and, you know, gotten a little bit slack and, and, uh, you know, put on a couple of extra pounds. But in the last few months, um, another good friend of mine and a very, very meaningful person in my life right now, Natalie Zierden, just, said, stop, why, why, why continue to go down this path? And, um, you know, it's been, it's been 12 weeks and, um, you know, I've actually dropped 30 pounds and it's done this like amazing thing for my mind and, and for my passion. Um, and my energy level is like through the roof. I'm, I'm sure my coworkers probably think I'm on some kind of hallucinatory or amped up thing. There's, there's no telling (laughs) what they think. Um, 
but really the fact is, um, you know, I've, I've really shed that, that dead weight and, and I'm continuing on that, that journey. Uh, and so I'm incredibly thankful uh, for Natalie and her encouragement in that. And I think too, the other, another person that, that comes to my mind is um, Katie Lilly. Um, and she does our bookkeeping for our office. And <laughs> she has made me think about um, just so many different things as, as a, as a person, you know, I get involved in, in, in as a, as a business owner and partner, you know, I don't, I don't get to think about the, the profit and loss and, and, and the books and, and the accounting processes. And she has really opened my eyes to thinking about that part of the business differently and, and thinking about how can we create and streamline things to, really uh, create efficiencies and um, create a model that um, allows us to enjoy what we do, um, be compensated for doing that job and having customers that love the work that we do. Um, and so I'm incredibly thankful, um, you know, that, that she has um, come along and, and, and is part of our team, um, you know, as a, as an accounting person, I think she has that same passion that I do when it comes to, you know, taking people from where they are to where they want to be. And her gift is, you know, the numbers and the processes and ensuring that, you know, you have the money in the bank to take care of the, the, the expenses and, and you have the, the profit to enjoy and enable profit sharing for the company. And so, um, you know, if you're a service-based business in Tallahassee and, and you're struggling with the books, your books are a mess, um, you know, I just hope you'll reach out to her. Um, you can find her website, lilyfieldsolutions.com. Um, go on there, take a look around, but, but shoot her a message. Her phone number's on there, her email's on there. Um, and I, I want to encourage you to reach out to her because she can really transform um, the way your business works. Um, so yeah, so that's all I wanted to share this morning. Uh, again, I think um, it really goes back to, you know, one of the, the, the central part of the video that really just spurred me yesterday um, as I was sitting on, sitting on the, the, the couch drinking some coffee. And um, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, I think coined, maybe he coined the thank you economy. Um, but in his video, I was watching yesterday, he, he said, surround yourself with positive people. And so, you know, what's really cool about Facebook Live is that there are going to be people who are watching this right now, like Darlene and Jameson and Vicki Fields and, you know, some of my other friends. Um, there are going to be people that see this video later um, in the feed. And what I hope you'll do is comment on this video and tag the person, which if you don't know what that means, you just do the at symbol and start typing up their name as you're logged into Facebook and you'll see their name pop up and select their name. Um, because what I'd love to have this feed be about is, is a marker that goes back and says, there are some really incredible positive people in Tallahassee that are, that are doing incredible work and, and who are inspirational to people. Um, and, and, you know, just kind of create this like positive 850 network uh, thing in the, in the comments. So, you know, I just want to encourage you to, to tag those people, you know, be a part of the thank you economy today. Um, because you don't know that positive person still goes through struggles, still has stress. Um, but maybe tagging them as part of the people in your life that have had a positive impact um, could make a difference today. So um, that's what I wanted to share today. Thank you guys. I hope you guys have a great week. I know I'm going to have a great week and um, you know, Hey, it's positivity mojo Monday. So bring it. Let's go. We'll see you around.